Hi everyone, I'm Andy, one of the product designers at KiwiCo, and today I'm going to be showing you some awesome bubble tricks that you can do at home. A bubble is essentially a pocket of gas trapped in a liquid. You can blow bubbles in a lot of liquids, but to blow really good bubbles, you need a strong and stretchy bubble solution. Which brings us to our first bubble trick. I'm going to show you how to make a super bubble solution with a few ingredients you likely already have. All you have to do is mix up three cups of water, which we already have here in the bowl, a half cup of liquid dish soap, and a quarter cup of either light corn syrup or glycerin. And then stir it all together. So water and soap make intuitive sense for bubbles, but what's up with the light corn syrup or glycerin? It turns out, these are actually the secret ingredients for creating big bubbles. Light corn syrup or glycerin thicken the bubble solution and allow it to stretch further than it would otherwise be able to. This allows your bubbles to get bigger without popping. Now to test this super solution, we're going to be making a big bubble wand. For this, you need to cut two pieces of cotton string. One, three feet long or about a meter, and the second, a foot and a half long, or about a half meter. You'll also need two dowels. So what you're gonna do first is grab the end of your long string and tie it to one of your dowels. Then take the other end of your long string and tie it to the end of your other dowel. Next, tie the ends of the short string to the ends of the long string close to where they are attached to the dowel. Ta-da! It's as easy as that. Now let's see what this thing can do. Have you ever wondered why bubbles are round? When you blow a bubble, you're stretching out the bubble solution. The soap doesn't want to be stretched though, and will try to make itself as small as possible. It turns out, the smallest surface area the bubble can create while keeping the same amount of air inside is in the shape of a sphere. But it's also possible to make a bubble that's a cube. You just need a little bit of help. To do this trick, cut 12 straws to about four inches or 10 centimeters in length, and 12 pipe cleaners to about eight inches or 20 centimeters in length. You're gonna slide each pipe cleaner into a straw. Next, you're gonna twist the corners together to create a cube. Then tuck all of the loose pipe cleaner ends back into the straws to make your cube stronger. Now, dip your bubble cube into your bubble solution. Gently jiggle your cube until it looks like that. Then grab a straw and dip it in your bubble solution. Blow gently in the center. There you have it, a square bubble. This is only made possible by the straw and pipe cleaner structure. The angled bubble film pulls on the central bubble in just the right way to create a cube. For most bubbles, a hole means game over, but I'm going to show you a trick where you can make a hole in a bubble without popping it. First, you'll need to cut four straws to about four inches or 15 centimeters in length. Then slide a pipe cleaner through each of the straws. Now, start twisting the ends of the pipe cleaners together a couple times to form a square.
Then tuck the ends of the pipe cleaners back into your straws to make your square stronger. Cut about six inches or 15 centimeters of thread. Then tie it in a loop. Dunk your string in the bubble solution. Then take your square and do the same thing. Now drop the thread in the middle. Use a pencil to pop the bubble film inside the thread and boom, you have a perfect circle. This happens because the solution surrounding the hole pulls out on the thread equally in all directions, creating a bubble portal you can pass through. One of the bittersweet things about bubbles is that they pop, usually very easily. But what if I told you there was a way to bounce bubbles off your hand without them popping? Turns out it's not only possible, but pretty easy to do. All you need is a clean cotton glove. And voila, it's as simple as that. Bubbles pop on your skin because they come in contact with small amounts of oil and dirt. When you wear the cotton glove, the bubbles no longer come in contact with these, and that's why you can bounce them on your hand. Our last trick will allow you to move bubbles without touching or even blowing on them. First, pour some bubble solution on a plate or tray. Then, blow a bubble on the surface of the bubble solution. Next, blow up a balloon and rub it on your head. Finally, bring the balloon close to your bubble. You're using static electricity to move your bubble. When you move the negatively charged balloon close to the bubble, it pushes the electrons in the solution away and then attracts the now positively charged side of the bubble. Try blowing multiple bubbles and racing them with a friend. There you have it. Five epic bubble tricks to impress your friends and family, and the science to back them up. As always, we'd love to see what you're making and creating at home, so ask a grown-up to share with us on social media. For other great projects like this, check out KiwiCo.com.